Hey everyone, this is Sean and today I have a really quick video showing you something really cool with OneNote. Okay, so what you see here is OneNote, but there's something different. Watch this. That's right. What you are seeing here is indeed Windows 10. Okay, but what you are also seeing here is the OneNote version with the radio menu and also the ability to scan documents because this is actually not the Windows 10 OneNote, this is the older OneNote that came with Windows 8. And it's actually super easy to get on your Windows 10 device and I will show you how to do that right now. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you want to go onto my video description and I provide a link to a folder on my OneDrive. So you can download that entire folder, okay, to your, uh, to your desktop. Once you've downloaded that folder to your desktop, you'll see two files in that folder. And, and you're gonna want to uh, open up the setup.bat file. Uh, you can run it as an administrator by uh, opening the context menu and selecting run as administrator. Okay, but before doing that, uh, you're gonna want to actually go into your developer settings. So go ahead and open up your search and type in type in developers and then you can select uh, four developer settings. Then you are going to want to make sure you select this option here that says side load apps. What you can also do is go into your Windows store and you can click on the picture of your profile picture and go into settings. And then you should have this option here that's that where you can disable the app updates. If the app updates is enabled, basically what that means is that Windows will keep trying to install the new version of OneNote even after you've done this trick. Uh, so by disabling that, uh, you prevent Windows from trying to overwrite what you've just done. Unfortunately, on the Surface 3, the non-pro, or on any Windows 10 Home Edition devices, this is grayed out. And I've looked and looked and looked, and the bottom line is that there's really no way to turn that on, which is a super big bummer, because that basically means every time I restart my computer, uh, I will have the new OneNote again, which I don't like. That said, you know, it's actually not a huge pain to install this every time. It's just in the file. Uh, you just click on this uh, setup.bat. So let me go ahead and close this. Okay, so, so now you're ready to run this. All you do is double click on this and then you'll see it processing. Give it a, give it a few seconds. But what it'll do is it'll remove the old OneNote and then it'll install the new OneNote. Almost to the end. All right, there you go. So now you open up your start menu, go into all your apps, scroll down to the letter O for OneNote, and you'll see it say new there. Go ahead and click on that, and you'll see it'll be as if it's a brand new, say let's get started. And then boom, it'll just uh, quickly re-download your notes, which uh, in my experience takes less than a minute, and then you're good to go. So for Surface 3 users who can't disable the app updates, it's really not a big deal. It's just really quick, you double click on that, it's just a few minutes, and you have, uh, in my opinion, a much better version of OneNote. Okay, so as a reminder, you can still do things like uh, scanning from your camera. So there you go, that is the old OneNote on Windows 10. I have read online that the OneNote team has received a lot of feedback from people like myself who want this uh, radio menu back and who want the ability to scan documents. And so I hope they're gonna be responding to some of that feedback. But in the meantime, I think this is a, a great solution to tide you over. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please do like and share it. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already uh, to find out all sorts of cool things. For example, if you haven't already seen, uh, I have a video on how to hide the taskbar uh, so that you can have a full screen experience. It's easy to hide and unhide the taskbar to have access to that. So I've got all sorts of cool uh, tips and tricks for Surface and Windows 10 and I'll be posting way more videos. All right, well thank you very much for watching.